Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. Okay, if you like what you see, please go ahead and like and share and subscribe. Okay, please do hit the bell. Okay, if you want to be here every time me and the tea team are here getting it in, getting to the bottom of all this good tea, um, this good tarot tea that's out here in these streets. Um, somebody has an ex that is bad mouthing them okay um you have heard about this okay this is the vibe that i'm getting and you may be surprised you want to know why you want to know what is going on you want to know where this is coming from or why um and so do i child so let, let's see uh, what is spirit giving us in regards to this tea okay let's get clarity this is a betrayal, okay? What did I just say? Came right out the gate with the Ten of Swords. Um, this person knows that you will never be interested in having anything to do with them. And it has left them feeling like the bottom is just falling out. Whoever this is, you left them feeling very flat. However, the relationship ended, whatever occurred, whatever was said, this person was left feeling like they wasn't shit, okay? Ten of Swords. This is somebody that feels like you not only dropped them, you stabbed them, you ran them over, and it was just wackity dack dack dack. okay? This is somebody that was left crushed by however things between the two of you ended, okay? And, as, and, so, and, and so here it is. They're off running their mouth about you based on that. Um, they feel like everyone will know. They feel like you'll tell people about them. Um, they feel like you'll be the one to gossip. You'll be the one to tell other women. That is primarily what this masculine is concerned with. He believes that you'll tell other women, okay? They'll be gossiping and kicking about him, okay? And that is what he's trying to defend himself against. So this man has gone out here and orchestrated flying monkeys um, based on the fact that he feels that that's what you're going to do. Like you give a damn, okay? Period. Um, this man was very hurt. By the way, you moved on from him and he was left feeling very spoiled, feeling very uh, hurt and offended by the way things ended. Um, this man knew that you would offer him yourself. Okay. He knew it. He absolutely knew that when he decided to pursue you, that you were already his. This man knew that. He expected you to give him uh, exactly what he asked of you. He expected for you to basically make him the center of your world and to hand your world over to him. This man thought that you would be a very easy lick for him. Okay? He thought it would be, it would be as easy as taking candy from a baby. Um, this man expected to basically add you to his women. He basically intended to, no, I'm going to take that back. Because I, this, this person didn't have a lot of women. But this person expected to have control of you. Okay. And he thought it would be easy. Okay, nine of wands. Um, this person thought you were a very wounded person. They thought you would be very easy to control. They thought you would be very easy to kind of get over on. They thought that you were somehow beat up by life. Okay, <laughs> this is the energy that I'm getting. This person thought that, this masculine thought that you were somehow beat up by life. Um, you know, somebody that was like a stray that was in need of a bowl of milk. That's literally what I'm hearing. This person thought that they would be taking you in. You know, I know they need some help. I know they need some help. I know they need somebody, okay? Um, <laughs> and so they betrayed you <coughs> because, first of all, their very thoughts of you were betrayal. They had the wrong idea about you to begin with, okay? And when they found out 
that they were wrong about you, it really blew their mind. It really shocked them. And whatever it was they thought y'all were about to have got blown out the water. Okay? They were like, wait, what? Okay? They feel like you cock blocked them. Okay? Eight of Swords energy. They feel that they were not able to get to you. Okay? Shit just blew up in their face. Um, but it is because their thoughts of you were already some weirdo shit, though. Did y'all follow y'all peeped it? Their thoughts of you were already like El Strangio. Okay. Um, and they actually thought they would get away with betraying you. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. I'm over here uh, clearing my throat. And so this person, once they once you cock block them, okay, they started with the bullshit. Sneaking around. They're telling someone that they have more of an involvement with you than they did. Okay. That's the story they're playing. They're acting like they really know you well. And there was a deep involvement. And there wasn't. Two of cups, two of wands. Okay. This person is acting like we had we had plans for the future and everything. Yeah. You know, this person is going around your back, sneaking around, even telling people that they had a sneak... <laughs> They had a sneaky link situation with you, okay? This is somebody that you didn't really fuck with, okay? This is somebody you was like slid off to the side. Eight of Cups energy, okay? Eight of Cups energy. This is somebody that you walked out on. This person's telling people they walked out on you. They're telling people they stopped fucking with you because when you really was never fucking with them at all. Okay, King of Swords energy. This person is a whole fucking clown. Um, they have kind of fell back from you. You may find their energy to be cold now. This is somebody that you are like, you think to yourself like, yeah, I noticed they stopped talking to me. Well, they stopped talking to you because you cock blocked them. Okay, they stopped talking to you because you, you didn't want to fuck with them like that. And they honestly thought that you would be desperate to fuck with them like that. So when that wasn't the case... That person fell way back. That person fell way back. Okay, period. Page of Cups energy. Okay. This person had a torch that they was carrying for you, but it was really based in how they thought you felt about them. And so they're heartbroken because they thought like, well, now that I'm giving her a shot, I already know and, and it, just, it just seems like, you know, you had other things going on. You might have already been in a relationship. Or you have already had your eye on someone. You just wasn't impressed with them. Just weren't impressed. You just were not impressed. Okay, so we see the sun energy coming through. Um, this was all about this masculine's ego. It's all about his ego. Okay, it's all about his ego <laughs> and what he had in his mind about you too. Six of Cups energy. Okay, so we see this man was reflecting on, you know, maybe a time, maybe there was a time you were interested in him in the past. Maybe this is somebody you grew up with. You know, um, this person thought that you still you still gave a fuck. Um, and, and so they feel like a fool. They feel like a fool. <laughs> <coughs> Y'all for choking down here laughing at this man. Okay. Um, he's over there feeling like a fool. Okay. He's feeling like a fool. Um, you know what it really is? It's like you didn't even notice him. Whatever it was this man was trying to do, because we see you in your Queen of Wands energy, sister. You you doing you. Okay. You you got your you you and your beauty pageant, beauty uh pageant queen, you know, energy. It's like you just didn't even notice. Like you may have even cock blocked him without noticing. Like this is a man that may have kept inviting himself over and you just thought, 
the fuck do Jeremy keep inviting himself to my house? No. That's as far as you, you thought about it. And he knows that. That's why he's hurt like damn. So she, she don't even really see me, you know, for shit. You understand? She don't even think shit of me. Like, damn, oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow. So he's sick, he's hurt. He's hurt because you don't even notice you hurt his feelings. This is an ex that you just kind of like, y'all might have had something going for a minute. And, you know, when things got cooking, when things got going, you just was kind of like, I'm not really feeling him. You know, he just kind of blew the shit off. And he, he just can't let it go. He's still talking shit. He's still talking shit. He still wants justice. He really feels like your ability to kind of just brush it all off. He feels like he, you know, that hurt him. He feels like he should get some justice for that. He feels like you deserve to be stabbed in the back for that. This man is really like he really feel a way. Okay, this is a very mean and spoiled and vengeful creature that for some reason thinks he's supposed to be loved by you. This man had you pegged wrong. He thought that you would just be glad that he was even trying to fuck with you at all. And then when you just blew the whole situation off, like, well, we went on a few dates or some shit. And I, you know, that's all. Um, this man really took it hard. He, when he experienced a narcissistic injury, okay, period. And it had a lot to do with his sexuality, um, his sex drive. You know, he, maybe you didn't want him sexually and that's where the relationship ended. Or maybe the sex just was no fucking good. Or whatever it was, you just kind of like faded to black on him. Like, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really be answering the phone. Yet. But it's not something that you really noticed. You just kind of didn't care. You understand? You know, somebody just didn't make that much of an impression on you. And this has left him feeling like he needs to get, regain control of the situation. And this is really funny to me that he would be an emperor energy because how do you regain control of a situation when the other person don't give a damn? How do you do that? It's like trying to get regain control of air. What, do you, what the fuck are you doing? You know? Um, so... This man is trying to regain control of the situation by giving out misinformation, okay? We see this Ace of Pentacles that is purely based in his emotion, okay? This man is out handing out, you know, large helpings of bullshit, okay? Let, I'm just going to make it clear in case you wonder what he was handing out, sis. It's bullshit, okay? And it's because he's in his feelings, King of Cups energy. He's in King of Cups in reverse, more or less, okay? This man is in a space where he has become moody, Angry and pissed off about the way things that went and the, the way things went, the way they ended. Um, and the fact that you just are totally oblivious to him at this point. You just don't really care. You don't give a fuck. You don't. Um, we see judgment energy. Okay. Judgment energy. And y'all know these church bells ring when the judgment card comes through the building, okay? So this man has gone back to awaken some old bullshit. He may be stirring the pot. Um, yeah, seven of wands. This man is like out here stirring the pot. Y'all see him with his stick stirring and shit, okay? Seven of wands. He out here really going out here, kind of being meddlesome, standing his ground, making himself known, posting up in different spaces and circles. Um... What I just say? Because we see the star. She pouring in two different spaces. This man is just pouring into bullshit. Um, however, he's presenting himself as a star energy as he's stirring up the bullshit. And that's really the negative problem, problematic thing about it. Um, whoever this masculine is, he may be an air sign <coughs> or a water sign. <clears throat> He has the ability, we see with this king cups and the star, he has the ability to make himself appear to others to be a stand-up person, to be a star energy, to be a king of cups energy. He knows how to portray himself as caring and warm. He knows how to portray himself as that friend that's always going to pat you on the back, you know, and say, you know, everything's this, everything's that. Okay. He's not that though. This man is somebody that is very fleeting. He's temporary in anybody's life that he comes into. Knight of Wands energy, Five of Pentacles energy. He's very fleeting. He usually ends up on the outside of people's lives, okay? Period. Relationships with him, look at this. Six of Swords, as I just said. Relationships with him typically transition, okay? 
They transition often into secrets. This man ends up being people's secrets, you know, a little booty call, a little piece of ass on the side. That's typically where he fits into things. It just is. It's typically where he fits into things. Okay. He, he isn't a man that anybody even really goes public with like that. Um, he's not a man that anybody really fucks with like that. Um, he's deceptive. He's deceitful. He often, as I said, ends up in five of pentacles energy with most people. And that's if he doesn't just end up being either a secret or somebody. You know how you date somebody and you don't even tell nobody you dated that person? You'd be like, I don't even, I, I just pretend that didn't happen. That one didn't count. Okay, he's one of those. He's even been married to people. Look at this. High, the high priest in Hierophant. He may even have an ex-wife that don't tell people she was previously married. Okay. Weren't you married? Uh-uh. I thought I'd seen some pictures on Facebook. Girl, we had somebody else had told me that. They thought they see. Uh-uh. That must have been. We went to school with another Alanya. That was probably her page. That was that was probably Alanya Johnson. I'm Alanya Daniels. Right, yeah, right. That wasn't even me. I know. Ain't that funny? Mm -hmm. He got an ex-wife like that. She just be make. She just be like, uh-uh. I wasn't ever married to Davey. What you talking about? I don't even know nobody named David. You got me confused. Somebody else. Y'all be looking at too many Facebook pages. Okay, he got one of them situations going on. Okay. This man often finds himself kind of searching for someone that will commit to him and buy into his bullshit, okay? And we see the Wheel of Fortune energy coming through this. Um, this man thinks he's a real, a real trickster. He thinks he's really got the ability to take action. And what he may be trying to do in the background, okay? I know I have to have my cars laid. <laughs> you see, I'm being idle about my cars now. And what this man may try to do Look, I'm, I'm going all out. What this man may try to do Damn it, I can't get him right. What this man may try to do is uh, trick you back into a relationship Okay, trick you back into it, take action, get you back into it, Ten of Cups energy, reapproach you. Okay, now keep in mind, this is this can only be about appearances because this man been behind your back on bullshit. So this can only be to make it look a way about him. This man is trying to make himself look like he can go back. He, you know, I was with her, I dumped her, I go pick her back up, I do whatever the fuck I want to do with her. This man is trying to create some type of picture. The Empress, okay? This man thinks it'll make him look a certain kind of way and be affiliated with you. Seven of Pentacles energy. Seven of Pentacles energy, okay? This is the Empress, okay? This man knows that you're received and respected in a certain kind of way. Seven of Pentacles energy does surround you. Six of Wands energy does surround you. Okay, Queen of Cups energy does surround you. So overall, you've been very kind to this man. You just didn't want to stay in any type of physical or romantic situation with him. Okay, you may have even, or this man feels that you were kind of breadcrumbing him at one point, but you felt you were being charitable to him. Six of Pentacles energy, because really... You weren't that interested in him. So you may have kind of tapered out of the situation. As I said early on, you may have faded to black on this relationship. You know, you just gradually ease out of the relationship. Okay, you faded to black on the relationship, okay? And you moved on. You started looking to the future, three of wands, okay? You moved on. You, you ain't sweating, you know, you, you like, as far as you concerned, y'all cool. But in this man's mind, this started him to thinking, Okay, and he got stuck on you. Seven of Cups to Hangman. This man got stuck on you pretty, pretty much based on the fact that you just gave no fucks. Gave no fucks, okay? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles energy. Um, Page of Pentacles energy. Two of Swords. Okay, this situation is basically one... 
it's like this man is trying to kind of settle the score in a sense. You know, he, it's something that's going on with him and himself. Page of Swords energy. It's like he's looking within and kind of checking his own resources and saying, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta, like, as a truth to myself, I gotta line this shit up. I gotta get this shit done right. Okay? King of Pentacles energy. Okay? King of Pentacles energy. Nine of Cups energy. Okay? King of Pentacles energy. Nine of Cups energy. This is what it would take to make this man feel like a man again. Okay? Trying to say he got some fulfillment off you. Trying to make it look like he got down on you. And then came back and doubled back and circled back to you. This is a masculine that is so mean and childish and bitchy okay that's the only energy that i'm getting he's this he's actually catty he's spreading rumors guys he's spreading rumors look at all these rumors yeah he is out here spreading rumors like fourth grade cafeteria shit Trying to collect flying monkeys. All this. Because you simply exited out politely like a lady. Slid on out the relationship. Because he had either. You didn't even care to find out about the D. Or the D was bad. Or you just wasn't feeling him. Like the sexual part of it just wasn't there. Ten of Wands. Okay. Like, this literally haunting this man. It's a load on this man's back that you didn't want him. This man was sure you wanted him, okay? Ace of Swords energy. The Bible will say that's the truth. This man thought in clarity. <coughs> he was positive that you wanted him. He thought all he had to do was make an offering, baby. All he had to do was run his mouthpiece. Knight of Pentacles ate him once. He didn't even expect no pushback. This man said, I'm just going to talk. Five and wise energy. Okay? I'm just going to talk. And it's just going to break all kind of chaos off in this woman. She's just going to be like, oh my God, he's saying the realest shit ever. You know? He thought he was really going to rock your world just with his conversation. Nine of Pentacles, eight of wands, five of wands. And you stayed in a whole nine of Pentacles. And you was just like, okay. I hear you, my dude. Wow. Okay. Well, listen, it's been really nice talking to you. Okay, it's been nice getting to know you. Okay. Yeah, we had a fun little two weeks. Didn't we? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been great. And he's been miserable ever since. He's been trying to find a way to balance this out since. And you feel like you ended it. Nine of Pentacles of Temperance. You feel like you ended it like a lady. You know what I'm saying? And then Chariot, you, you got on out the way. Like, you felt like, you know, let me make room for him to find the right one. Let me make room for him to find his ten of pentacles. Make room for him to find a family, somebody serious, somebody real. Um, you feel like you did the right thing, eight of pentacles. You feel like you handled him well. And then you went on and got back focused on work or whatever else it is you do. You did not feel like you wronged this man in any way, shape, or form. Um, you know? You you left room for him to do something else. The lovers, the Knight of Cups. This is what the man thought he was going to do with you, though. He thought he was going to be welcomed into the lovers and the Knight of Cups. And he feels that instead you left him in the Five of Cups. So, actually, this is a man that liked you more than he was even saying. And he, he assumed that you were going to be a pushover for him. And when you were not, now he thinks you're a bitch. Okay, Queen of Swords. When he tells the story to himself, you humiliated him, you cut him down, you hung up on him, you laughed in his face, you know, you probably stuck him with a fork, all types of shit happened. That didn't even... <coughs> like, now he's trying to choke me. That didn't even happen. <coughs> okay. This man really took it hard. Like, he went into a dark night of the soul. The energy that I'm getting here... Is that you make this man feel like if we see the moon, that that's hardcore. Like, he went hard. He, he let you take him all the way to the moon, okay? And, and, and the energy that I'm getting, this five of cups and all this, you basically made, made this man feel that he don't have it no more. Okay? It was ego death. Okay? Ego death. Dark night of the soul with the death card. 
Okay? You kind of brought this, you brought death to his delusions about who he was. And that kind of put him in a depressed place. He's overflowing with emotions. We got the Ace of Cups right under the Five of Cups. This man was left hurt. Because he really felt like he was a player and that you would you would just fall down for him. Like, yeah, for whatever reason, that's what he thought. That's what he thought. Three of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. Okay, that's what he thought. Okay. Three of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. That's what he thought. That's what he felt. He believed that Y'all were going to be just a team in communication and that he was going to be the one that was in control of, you know, whether or not it was a yes or a no, how it went. Because we see this two of pentacles over the king of wands. Okay. That did not happen for source energy. Because you just didn't, you just didn't care. It's like you, you just kind of went back to sleep on him. Like, I'm not impressed, my dude. I'm really not. Okay. And so this man is angry. He's, he's in his little, his little whack ass feelings. And um, he's trying to hold on to you by basically creating an issue for you energetically. Okay, so he's taking the, the bitch assness approach where he thinks it's acceptable to spread rumors. And you may hear some things that are coming from this masculine. And all of this is just simply because you just weren't, you didn't really want him like that. You know, you didn't want him like that. So this man is in the background. Um, you know, trying to make, trying to rewrite the narrative and make it seem like you and him fucked around at a level that, that y'all did not, and that he's like discarded you and picked you back up and he just does the fuck he wants with you because you're just so in love. And, you know, he's in the background really humiliating himself, um, to make a, a short story even shorter. Okay. He's playing himself. He's humiliating himself. He's a sucker. Okay. He's feeling blue about this because he did feel whole with you. This man liked you. Okay. He had a lot of passion brewing in him for you. Um, however, it's like he was projecting it all off onto you. And when you did not return it. Okay. This is where we see the bad vibes coming in and we see the poison coming in. Um, and we see cold energy coming in between y'all and not slow progress. We're going to say no progress because, you know, you didn't, you didn't feel it. You wasn't feeling this excitement that this man was clearly feeling in regards to you. Um, so look at him, look at, look at it. There you go. So he's stirring the pot of drama. Literally the car say stirring the pot of drama. That's the way he's dealing with this is by being, um, a mean girl. So, how does this all end for this fool? Because it can't end for you because you was never in it. You don't care. You didn't care when the story started. So, how does this all end for him? Because he's the only one involved in it. Okay. Um, we see this man in this situation. He's running away with this thing into the future. Okay. And we see him. He's, he's dealing with anxiety. He's dealing with stress. Um, it's interesting to me. That the anxiety and the stress comes in as future facing. And it makes perfect sense that it will come in as future facing. This tells us that in the future, you still don't give a fuck. Okay. And he's still going to be crying about this. And it also gives me the cue. And what I'm hearing is that this man was hoping that the shit, okay, the shit that he's stirring up right now because he thinks he's stirring up some hot shits, okay? Oh, I'm, I'm going to tell motherfuckers this, that. You know, he thinks he's really tur start t turning it up, stirring it up, laying it down. He expects it to create some problems so some shit can come back to him. He's trying to draw you back to him through bullshit. That's wild. I've never heard of nothing like this. I mean, I'm sure I've, I've seen it. But it, I, I just never thought of it in those terms. Spirit is just giving it to me. He was planning to draw you back to him through bullshit. That's how this man works. Okay? He may even be using using others as pawns. Like hoping somebody come and tell you he talking shit. So that you'll come back to him and he'll be back in power. Lord, this is what I'm hearing. So your call will be like, excuse me. Um, Corey, I heard you said... And then this will give him a chance to be, you know, unaffected by you. But, you know, I mean, since you called and everything, um, you know, 
you want to grab a cup of coffee or you know he's gonna try to lure you back into his his this den through the drama that he's stirring up by gossiping with people around you three of cups energy making up a narrative that you don't care shit about and this isn't going anywhere ten of swords baby you don't care if somebody does come to you and they will, three of cups, okay, and tell you like, oh, he said whoop de wop you're going to be like, so? The man never made an impression on you. So he cannot make an impression on you. And, and this is this is something that he's not catching. He's not, he's not catching that T. Uh, the man didn't make an impression on you. If you didn't make an impression on me, how you going to make an impression on me? If I didn't care enough to care... I'm not going to care to care when you want me to care because I don't care. So, you know, this is somebody that's completely insignificant to you and whether or not they're in your life really doesn't matter. And they are very caught up in trying to make themselves somebody that matters to you. Okay. They want you to be invested in them. They really do. Um, and you're not, and we don't see you becoming invested in the, invested in them and their bullshit. You're just gonna hear these rumors and be like, "Oh wow, okay." <clears throat> Is Deshaun still talking about me? Wow, that's pretty much where you're at with it. If you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea. Please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Hit the bell if you want to be here every time that I am here with the tea team chopping up all of this tea, okay? And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.